Did anyone really think this movie would be good? Really? Hey everyone, welcome to another review, and here's my review for the movie The Last Witch Hunter. Yeah, The Last Witch Hunter. Yes, I was at the theaters, I saw the movie Steve Jobs, and go see the movie Steve Jobs. Don't even see this movie, go see Steve Jobs, that movie is amazing, yeah, go see it. But yeah, I was at the movie theater, I saw Steve Jobs, but I still had some more time, so I decided to go see another movie. And my three choices were The Last Paranormal Activity Movie, Gem of the Holograms, and fucking The Last Witch Hunter. So yeah, I literally had no idea what movie to see, so I literally did the eeny meeny miny mo, and I chose the last. I chose the last Witch Hunter. Oh, do I regret it? Probably not, because I think the Paranormal Activity movie and Gem of the Holograms are much worse films. But this movie's still pretty bad. It's it's not good. It's not good at all. I don't see why the keep making movies like this, yes. This is just a basic, generic, supernatural action movie. These movies come out every year. There's a bunch of them that come out every year, and they all suck. You know, movies like I, Frankenstein, Priest, Legion, Hansel and Gretel, fucking, you know, all those stupid movies. They're all terrible. Season of the Witch. All those movies come out, and they're all just god-awful movies. All of them usually have big actors in it, and they all just embarrass themselves, because they're all just embarrassing movies to watch. But out of those kind of supernatural action movies, this movie is sort of more tolerable than a lot of those ones I just said, because I hated all those movies. They are all very cringeworthy movies, and they all kind of frustrate me. This movie didn't frustrate me. It's not good. It's not good at all. But this is the kind of movie I watched, and I thought to myself, this movie sucks. It's a fucking bad movie, but I can see why some people might have fun with it. Like, this is a good, guilty pleasure movie. This is not my guilty pleasure movie. I didn't like this movie, but I can see how this could become a guilty pleasure movie for someone. It's a bad movie, but it's not a god-awful movie. The people that play in this movie are Vin Diesel, Michael Caine, Rose Leslie, and Elijah Wood, and they're all... Yeah, <laughs> Vin Diesel is a terrible actor, and he's terrible in this movie. He plays Vin Diesel, you know. Vin Diesel, yeah, 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 yeah. Vin Diesel, yeah, Vin Diesel, yeah, yeah. Family. <laughs> Thank God there was no family talk in this fucking movie, but yeah, he plays Vin Diesel, and he's god-awful. The only movies Vin Diesel plays in, I've said this before, is movies he says not a lot of lines in. You know, like Saving Pirate Ryan, Iron Giant, or him as Groot in Guardians of the Galaxy. I am Groot. We are Groot. Yes, anytime he does roles like that, he's good. But when he is a lead character in a movie, he is awful. And he's got awful this movie. He's just terrible. Michael Caden's okay, but he's not in it enough. And Elijah Wood is pretty terrible. Rose Leslie, yes. Rose Leslie, yes. The girl from Game of Thrones. Ingrid from Game of Thrones, yes. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Or in this case, you know nothing, Vin Diesel, and he clearly doesn't, but yeah, she was awesome. I loved it. I loved her character in this movie. She was badass, but she was also witty and kind of interesting, probably the more interesting character in this entire film. She was awesome. I loved her in this movie. She was also, like, she made this movie, this movie worth watching, and yeah, they, this movie is, t is filled with tons of mindless action. Mindless action that will probably give someone enjoyment to, you know, action movie lovers. I love action movies, but not these kind of action movies. Yeah, the action was mediocre. The effects were mediocre. But like I said, this movie didn't piss me off or anything. This, this is the kind of movie I could see a lot of people saying, Oh, this is like a guilty pleasure of mine. I can get it. I could tolerate this movie over Legion and Season of the Witch. Like, those movies are just, oh, god awful. Yeah, this movie is terrible. It's a terrible movie. Don't see this movie. Like, I know I'm trying to be positive. I shouldn't be, because it's a terrible movie. I will never watch this movie again, and I could never recommend this movie, but I could see how some people could like it. But yeah, it's a bad movie. I will not recommend this movie at all. It's not good, not good. Don't see this movie. See, see the movie Steve Jobs instead. Much better film. So yeah, skip this movie. Scale 1 to 10, I'll give this movie a 4 out of 10. So yeah, it's not good. Not a good movie at all. So yeah, in the comment section below, please tell me, what is the worst Vin Diesel movie? What do you think the worst Vin Diesel movie is? Comment below, let me know. The worst movie of Vin Diesel is probably Babylon AD or The Pacifier. Those two are very close with me. Those are the worst Vin Diesel movies ever. But what do you think is the worst Vin Diesel movie? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.